Oh, I thought we were live. You just let me know. Oh, 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 there we are. I think I did it. We're back. Hey guys. Hello. Hello. Hey. Hello, friends. Hello. And welcome to yet another episode of Lunch with the Thrag Bunch, starring. Brief pause for dramatic effect. But Tyler Melton hey, and Eric Thompson, me. We are hey. here. I'm right here and I'm the narrator today. So look forward to getting y'all some more peeps in front of you from the Thread Bunch, including yet not limited to the infamous Logan Baker. Nice. And um, of course, our amazing and talented Chandler Forrest. So, um, but you got us for now, and I trust that we'll be able to come through on everything we expected <laughs> and possibly more. So, without further ado, Tyler. What's today? Today is July 1st. Definitely summer. Yes. July 1, 2021, yes. which would indicate it's Summer Siesta Giveaway Day. Oh. There's the cooler of goods. I don't know if y'all can see this, but I was using my big old head to block it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. In a beautiful and fancy, can you move that strap so that way we can see the oh, um, yes. Atlantic Bay Mortgage Group cooler. Whoop, whoop. Get it closer without like destroying it, but look at it. Okay, well, if you can't see it because you're on our podcast, which I totally support. It is a beautiful insulated cooler brought to you by our amazing sponsors over at Atlantic Bay Mortgage Group, Nikki, Team Nikki Rogers, yes. um, in addition to uh, pretty much a pool party pack, if you ask me. Everything yes. about the beer and the water. Um, yeah. <laughs> so Maybe if you're lucky, we'll throw um, some of that in. Read off what you got in there. So we have up to four um pool passes for the city of newman aquatic center which is like a super mouthful but we've got those tickets in there we've got four beautifully monogrammed beach towels they're the extra big ones and they've been monogrammed by allison nolan over at the funky monkey which i love her so much she made those um towels are gorgeous we've got new sunnies in there we've got sunscreen we've got aloe for when you get burnt because it's going to happen because it's hot out there oh, um, super excited so you said four towels oh yeah i've okay. got them like really tightly rolled up to all fit in there but it was kind of a struggle but they're in there she changed her they mind. made it those towels are so pretty i was gonna get a little handsy with it and grab one but uh i guess we'll just order some more we were They're like really what cool would it be like to give only two towels away versus four towels <laughs> two towels and bring two of your own so. God. oh boy oh ah, our friends are going crazy because it is summer siesta giveaway day we are so excited so for those of you who are just tuning in with us and maybe you haven't seen the event i'm trying to like ban a white this but it's not really working if you haven't seen the event on Facebook, if you didn't get our email or any of our um, communication, all you have to do is either call or text us and Ooh. either let the person know when they pick up the phone that you're entering for the summer siesta um, party pack or text to 252-672-2090 summer siesta giveaway and um whoever's manning the phone right then is going to shoot you over the details on what you need to get entered it's literally that simple so i know everybody wants to talk to me so bad so i'll be on duty from five to seven can't wait to talk to y'all um and then of course the lovely and beautiful talented logan baker is on duty from is it three two to, to three okay two to three two to three all right cool I'm back right. so, and then are you three to five? Uh-uh. Oh, okay. Logan's two to five. You're five oh, to seven. Five. And Jasper <laughs> is eleven to two, which y'all have not got to meet Jasper. Which, if you haven't talked to Jasper yet, honestly, he's a much better talk yeah. than I am. Yeah. Um, so I, I would say good. call in now because it's prime time to have a really cool conversation with our yeah. inside sales agent, um, Jasper. He is phenomenal and he's really yeah, cool he's guy. Fun. So, and he's up to date on his Netflix and chill uh, from oh, what yeah. I understand. So shout oh, yeah. out to Jasper. Oh yeah. For keeping up to date on uh, yeah. the Netflix. I'm working on it. 
Uh, here's something. So uh, without further ado, let's talk a little bit more about, uh, well, first and foremost, Tyler is far nicer than I am. I'm big on like cliffhangers, although I personally hate them. Um, and she spilled the beans all over you. But if you need a recap on any of the information about the summer siesta, you can head right over to our social media, our Facebook page. And I believe our Instagram is also reflecting this information as well. So um, please feel free to jump on there. And if all else fails, um, we are actively watching for smoke signals, um, but our phone line is most certainly live and it does receive both text messages and phone calls. So that again is gonna be 252-672-2090. And that's the main line and a ton of people are watching it, so. Is it not like, it's like nerve wracking every time I have to say our number out loud and just, I mean, I know it, we picked it. We like hand selected this phone number and I still always worry I'm gonna get it wrong. <laughs> we were trying for a number that was already similar to one of ours and yeah, either way. It's not okay. like the old school where you go to Verizon and you know, they'll let you just scroll through a billion and seven numbers until you're like, oh, I like that one. It's got a good ring yeah, to no. it, pun intended. Nothing. Um, but nevertheless, I have a very unique cell phone number that ends in 0911 because my mother back in high school got tired of me changing my phone number. So um, she told me to pick one and um, stick to it and make it memorable. So oh, Atlanta. the very literal person I am, I chose one that ended in 0911. And so I've, I've had that number since high school, like oh. back when it was a Motorola Razor. That phone number oh has just changed bodies. You're coming so back. They are coming back. Stop. I'm going to get you one. one. I'm getting one. I probably okay. still got my cradle from where I put it on my, my belt loop. And you oh can just get that puppy in and you are in no, touch. Sir. So, so, today. Yeah, they're, they're completely coming back with a Motorola Razor. Today is the cusp of a new month. And yes. uh, I cannot believe it because I thought it was um, June 31st. And apparently Thank that you. doesn't exist. So my bad. Um, so it, of course, is our time to talk market and what's going on in the real estate market, what we're seeing, where we've been, where we're going, um, and just common possible myth understandings around just generally speaking. So of course, if you do have any questions you want us to address on any of these, please do not hesitate to email in. My name is Eric, E-R-I-C, at T-H-R-E-G, homes, that's H-O-M-E-S, dot com and you can easily contact me you can go to our website and easily put in um, your information with a question you can go to facebook comment on this but for the time being we're going to roll with some of the questions that we've come across with yeah. either active past clients or just anyone that's already emailed them in so the first question um and possibly like myth understanding would be i'm saying kind of like myth understanding because it's almost like it's a bit of a myth out there where you could get some serious google juice Google juice <laughs> behind uh, a possible topic. And then all of a sudden, um, you know, you're like deep down in area 51 information and you're like, wait a minute, what happened to the truth? So yeah, we're happened. here, we're happy to help. Um, so on the buyer side, we're gonna talk a little bit more about like uh, what to expect in this market and additionally what we're seeing in the market. Yeah. So, um, a lot of uh, interest in this topic around, you know, why are so many people buying homes? Um, if you were on our podcast last week, we had the beautiful and talented uh, Nikki Rogers with Team Nikki Rogers over at Atlantic Bay Mortgage Group. And she, man, all you got to do is just say, can I get 30 minutes of your time and have coffee with you? Mm -hmm. And boom, all of a sudden she's dropping knowledge. But additionally, one of our great partners, um, Lloyd Dahl over at Guaranteed Rate, want to give him a huge shout out. Um, we had a little gathering with them just a couple of days ago, and he was sharing with us some new products, some new opportunities they have. Um, but, you know, what we're hearing is just generally speaking, like, how long does it take to buy a home um, and, you know, market and expectations? So first and foremost, we are still nestled very comfortably in what we would call a seller's market. And... You know, that term gets used so loosely that, of course, I would love to just take the opportunity and elaborate a little bit on seller's market. So, Tyler, tell us what your take is on a seller's market. So, a seller's market, in just like the most basic terms I can bring it to you in, is that as a seller, things are in your favor. Um, picking your terms, picking your price, within reason, of course. Um, there's still bounds of lending laws and 
um, things of that nature. But for a seller, things are looking really positive right now. And for a buyer, which I know is really hard to believe. It almost feels like a really weird oxymoron to say that it's both a good time to sell and to buy. Um, but I don't know. I, I don't, I'm here for it. I'm totally here for it because I bought a house in this market, right? We went in multiple offers and we, we won the house and here I am cozy in my cul-de-sac. Well, not today because I'm in the office. But. So Tyler is definitely wearing her captain obvious shirt today. Uh, seller's market does mean market is the seller's, <laughs> seller's favor. Yet Tyler, what is the essence? What makes a seller's market? Um, a lot of people possibly don't quite get the nuts and bolts of how we determine a seller's market versus a neutral market versus a buyer's market. To get more technical behind it, it's a certain threshold for inventory. So oh. usually it's at like four-ish month mark or there, if we were to stop taking listings, right, if we were to stop putting their house on the market, it would take roughly X amount of time for all the inventory to sell out. And anytime that is under, I would say four realistically, um, you are in a seller's market. And right now in most of our neighborhoods, we're at like a one and a half month supply, two month supply um, of homes. Of course, I haven't seen the updated um, absorption rate charts yet because it's only July 1. Um, but that's about where they were, they were sitting last month. Once the month closes out, guys, we go back and we study what happened um, because real estate is unique to the fact that Basically, um, you know, when you go and buy something else that may not be considered real property, um, you may not be able to find out how much it's sold for. Yet, if you're working with a realtor and they close the sale out, then everyone that is credentialed to see that information, including the tax assessor if they wanted to, um, you know, that is now reported outbound and we can go back and study it. How long was it on the market? Um, how possibly how many offers were on it if, if it's available? Um, and additionally, what were the closeout terms? So, you know, what Tyler's indicating is definitely true. And, you know, we've seen neighborhoods that are under one month supply of homes. And mm -hmm. what she's saying is, is basically at the rate that homes are selling, how quickly would we sell out of homes? Should we not take another listing starting on the date of study of the market? Um, so, you know, certainly a seller's market would indicate just more buyer demand than seller demand, meaning there's more people looking to buy a home currently than there are sellers looking to sell a home. And it's nothing against one party or another. It's just there are going to be cyclical shifts between. Um, and we're definitely seeing some influx in options and inventory. And I think that's what we want you to hear more loudly than anything is for motivated buyers out there, people that have you know clear timeline, know where they need to go, where they want to go, um, or have a job transfer, there are options out there. Um, mm -hmm. It never hurts to start looking sooner rather than later to keep you out of a pinch. But, um, you know, we're seeing a huge ramp up in new construction. Tyler, can you speak to a couple of communities that you're seeing that in? Yes. Yeah, so we got the great word that JC Jackson Builders is back at it again. Um, I believe Craigburn Forest, they've opened up a new section there. So if you're not familiar with the Newburn area, that's going to be a little bit more towards the like River Bend area headed towards Jacksonville. So some great new construction is happening there. Of course, West Newburn is getting ready to start ramping up as well. Um, and there's um, a great little subdivision headed towards Weyerhaeuser called, is it Tyler on the Lake now? Am I saying that right? Tyler, that I'm is, on the Lake. Lake Tyler is what is most yeah, Lake Tyler is what I always yeah. called it. I'm going to continue to call it that so I feel fancy. Um, they've got some great new construction happening there. And I believe there's some new construction that's going to be coming up in James City. Um, of course, there's the new subdivision um, out there as well that's coming up near Hardy Farms. Um, so yeah, that's really great point. You know, there are many, many, many subdivisions that are building now more than ever. And we're happy to help you with more information about that. We could be your one-stop shop versus you having to drive to each and every office and find out more information. We actually have access to a lot of that information of which a lot of it is not available online because um, the way building is going right now is there's such a high demand. It's almost um, challenging for a lot of the builders agents to keep up with. Um, and nevertheless, there are some, some builder companies out there that have great structure behind the scenes to keep up with it. And yet it's still just a ton of demand, um, all hands on deck, if you will, in that industry. So 
yeah, Grantham Place is building. Um, yes. there, there's more give or take options coming in uh, Linwood Highlands. Um, there have been uh, some great announcements coming about in some communities that we don't have the full preliminary information on. And then of course, custom home builds is still a great option just as well. There's lots in some of these more nestled away communities like Greenbrier, Taberna that you could still build in. So um, yeah, I mean, new construction is a big topic right now. And with yeah. proper planning, you can sell your house in a great market and still build one from the ground up. And we've seen a ton of people doing that. You know, the custom home options over in Carolina Colors um, and just having the opportunity to pick everything all the way down to the flooring choice and, and countertops and cabinets. And so we'd love to connect you with some of our builder friends um, if you want to interview with somebody and find out what that looks like. So yeah. I mean, especially if you're looking to be in these neighborhoods like Taberna and Trent Woods, even on Bryce's Creek, there's such low resale inventory that if you have the timeline that is a little bit more flexible yeah. or you're okay with a short-term rental, I mean, we do that all the time, right? It's just like I can... it's another process for us. And it opens up some options in a world where you feel like you're limited, which we recognize win-win is a huge, huge, huge cultural piece for our team and a win-win would insist that you're getting something out of this. You know, you're able to sell in the market you buy in, yet the market you bought in is also when you built your dream home. So yeah. um, certainly a great option to talk about and make sure that we have the time to build it from the ground up, but it's, it's a great opportunity. We'd love to walk you through that process. So um, back to the market we're in and just generally speaking, um, to be prepared from the buyer side, like what that looks like if, let's say you're purchasing a resale home, resale versus um, foreclosure, or as we know it to be distress sale um, uh, versus new construction, they're all very different experiences. So I can't blanket the statement that everything is going to be all the same experience. And yet, um, to be prepared where you know your timeline, you know, in 30 days or less, I'm going to be homeless and I need to find a home while well, we may have waited a little too long in that case. So, you know, ideally we'd want you to get started looking in the 60 to 45 day mark at minimum. Um, and that gives us a little bit of time to play with and, and explore some areas and options and, and what we have in the pipeline, so to speak, that's coming down to be listed. But for the time being, I'm um, oh, sorry, go ahead. Yeah, go right ahead. So I think that's a really important like statement for people to hear is there are people who are ramping up to get their house ready, right? And they're working with real estate agents. They, and it may not be us necessarily, it may be someone else we've gotten wind of or we've heard of, um, finding out what's coming soon on the market. That's, that's where your licensed agent gets to help you, right? That's where your realtor steps in and handles the dirty work for you. They'll, we'll find it. Like I don't, I don't mind making a phone call. Computer. It's actually one of my favorite things to do. I'll call and say, Hey, I heard you got one coming. What's up? So yep. that's a really great point. Yeah, no, I'm glad you said that because, you know, the fact of the matter is, is that we're certainly licensed to perform the duties of helping buy, sell homes, or even help people with their investment goals for financial wealth. And yet, um, what's additionally important to that is the, you know, almost family of realtors that we have right here. You know, I spent um, about three or four hours a couple of weeks ago, just calling around to them and, and talking with other agents. Um, and it was really fun. We were drumming up some support for um, a legislative piece uh, called RPAC. And, and I just got to connect with people that I haven't talked to in a while. And it's like, daggum, you know, this pandemic has really kind of sucked the fun out of things, which we all know. Yet, you know, I support the reason why. And I'm looking forward to our first board uh, of realtors luncheon that we've done in a long time and get to reconnect with people and see them and say, hey, so, um, and we get calls from them too. So, you know, they're like, hey, I got a buyer looking for a three bedroom, two bath and I'm coming up against nothing. What do you got coming? What were you going to say, Tyler? Oh, the collaborative effort. I think another really interesting piece of this market we get a lot of questions about is the investor market. Mm. And what it looks like to be an investor in this market can be really tricky. And yet we've worked with several investors already this year that have bought rental units or flips, made a substantial profit and kept on moving. So I think that's important to touch on building that, that wealth that you just hit on. 
Yeah, there's some things that are outside of our control in this business. Um, many things, I would say in upwards of, you know, 50 to 75% of what we do is out of our control. Um, largely in part to the fact that what we do is educate the general public to make the best possible decision for a win-win for them and their families. Um, and that can go as far as when we represent a builder and they're doing a new construction, making sure that they're aware of what's going on in the current market just as well. And they educate us in, in return around what their costs are looking like. Um, but, you know, the big part of what Tyler said is just to additionally ensure that we're, we're equipping you to be prepared in this market. Um, and I was kind of driving toward earlier, making sure that we have this fire whistles going off and it just kind of threw me for a loop. The second one <laughs> since started um, recording today. So um, everyone be careful out there. It's clearly hot out there. Yeah, yeah, hot in the market and outside today. <laughs> <laughs> um, just to be prepared as a buyer in this market, just simply, you know, get your pre-qualification, connect with a lender. Um, what, what we were talking about on the um, kind of investment side, though, to backtrack just a touch is um, we were talking to a lender partner of ours, Lloyd Dahl, over at Guaranteed Rate. And the piece that's kind of out of our control and really his control just as well is, um, and many lenders for that matter, is legislation. And I'm not going to talk politics. I don't bring that into this world. There's enough of that going on. Moreover, my point being is, is that the people that drive the policies behind the backed mortgages, we're working to make some changes that were making it a little harder to invest in real estate. And yet they kind of pulled back on that as what we were informed. So, you know, um, just simply, you know, kind of keep a thumb on that and, you know, take the opportunity to vote if you have a chance. Yet I'm not saying that it's a, a presidential point by any stretch. It's just moreover, whoever the leader of that department is, you know, the, the Fannie Mae, Freddie Mac programs, because pretty much all mortgages are backed by some sort of government organization. And that's the myth understanding around, like when you go get a car loan, you're getting it from bb &T, but bb and is pretty much loaning out money. And it's, if they had to repo it, they're, they're not reimbursed by the government in any capacity. Yeah. Well, that's different with houses. And so that's where you really need to sit down with a, um, knowledgeable lender. Um, we have some great partners, but somebody that can help you with an investment mortgage um, to understand what the what the lead time might be on gaining that mortgage. Because, you know, right now the appetite for investors has gone back and forth around employment rates and those types of things. So there's so much to encumber here, but also the demand in the market would say investing in real estate is still a great opportunity. Um, perhaps you have to start lower on the totem pole than you wanted to though. Meaning maybe you do need to go and just pursue that $26,000 falling down house and bring it back up to life. Yet there are those opportunities that have been hitting the market and it could be a great opportunity to get around some of that legislative stuff that clogs the system and propels you forward. So we'd love to talk to you about that and help display your options um, and just educate. That's what we're here for. So hopefully I got all my points out there. I'm sorry, that uh, fire, it's not a whistle. It's like a, oh, there it goes again. Uh, yeah, it's just a, it's a system down the road for the volunteer firehouse. And it's, um, you know, of course they have the pagers and walkie talkies now, but from the old days, they used to use this big old siren thing on their building, and we can hear it because it's right down the street. So I remember when I was a little kid, that used to hurt my ears. Oh. Um, I know we were just, I don't know, dramatic, but you know, come by it on. Oh, well, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> so um, additionally, that's the buyer side of the market right now. Um, uh, we have seen a lot of people buy a home, move in, live there for a year, and then move on to something closer to their dream home, yet rent that one out. Um, and so we're really excited to be bringing some more options to you in the very near future around um, assistance with that particular step in life, yet can't make any official announcements as of right now. Y'all hey, hang tight on that one. Talk about me Cliffhangers, still. Guilty pleasure, cliffhangers. So yeah, seller's market, you know, guys, it's just a matter of supply and demand. Um, demand is up. What is an indicator of demand being up? Well, quit having all them babies, people. Um, okay. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> them COVID babies is popping out. <laughs> Everybody needs a four bed. The other day too with the job market. 
right? And how people are seeing opportunity for work from home. They're leaving these big corporate companies and they're coming to find something smaller that's still going to pay them the same, if not more, for their talent. I, I don't mean to toot my own horn, but uh, toot toot. Uh, I called it prior where we were going to see an exodus of some of the yeah. more densely populated areas. And they're, they're studying that closely. Some of the official analysts, I couldn't give you a company name, but I was watching the, the news. The it's a news. guilty pleasure in my <laughs> mind. Um, and, you know, they were really addressing that where, you know, people in more densely populated areas where elevators are not optional um, if you want to get to the 70, 72nd floor and still be on time to clock in. Um, that's becoming one of those things where people are like, hmm, it's a little more optional in a little more rural area, like little old New Bern, so to speak. So um, New Bern is not as little as when I grew up yet, you know, it's still worth considering. Those are some of the reasons why demand is driving the way it is, but there's great investment opportunities, um, co-investment opportunities. Uh, the more you look into real estate and all the options it provides, um, the more you may discover, like, perhaps you don't have to do it alone. Um, you know, we are seeing investment groups that are forming and they buy the apartment complex. And yet that's a great way to jump in and, and own a building, so to speak, out of the five buildings that were for sale. So I'm not saying there's a building for sale, but if you know somebody that wants to sell one, let me know. We got some great commercial partners too. So. Um, well, I think we would definitely be remiss not to mention, like we have last few weeks, we are on the hunt for some great people to join our organization. So if you are interested in coming to work with the Thrag Bunch, there is a pinned post on our Facebook page. You can find that at www.facebook.com backslash Thompson Homes R-E-G. The pinned post has the link to um, check it out and let's have a conversation about what it looks like to work with the Thrag Bunch. Yeah, we're just, we're growing. We're interested in providing more opportunities and yet we're going to continue our basic principles of give back and, um, you know, supporting the local community as much as they have supported us. So thank you for everyone's referrals, making opportunities like this possible for myself, Tyler Chandler to all hold a salary and Logan just as well on our partner side here as a sales partner. She is filled with gratitude to be able to um, work with people you know, just in an earlier part of her career and, um, you know, have the trust and the backing of our team just as well. So uh, I think that's a great point. Yeah. 13, 13. is our magic number from last month. 13 Ooh, families. 13 families served last month. That's right. Yeah. Heck yeah. That's just and a lot of fun there, you know? Yeah. No, I mean, 13 homes sold, buyer and seller combined. And, uh, you know, that provides us the opportunity to be able to do these giveaways like the pool summer siesta passes and additionally um we're looking forward to our uh newest flagship event i'm going to slide this in there our movie in the park coming soon to a city near you so uh, you just man you kill me oh, man can't mm -hmm. hold it in with Love so long <laughs> yeah. yeah be on the lookout our newest uh our newest event Hello. is coming soon <laughs> Yeah, be, sure. on the lookout. be on the lookout. Y'all, okay. I just hopefully you hear me loud and clear. We are open for interviews um, as your choice real estate company just as well. So locally owned and operated right here in the heart of Eastern North Carolina in New Bern, um, servicing Craven, Jones, Pamlico counties. And additionally, we do expand our reach to Carteret and Onslow counties. But our our home hub is right here in New Bern. Um, we want our sellers to hear that this is still a great opportunity to um, explore what that looks like, to cash in on some equity that, you know, if you only bought in 2016, 2018, holy cow, um, that was a very different market. And it's a great opportunity to talk about it now because there are people that are vying for the opportunity to buy your home. Um, and yep. so we would love to talk to you about our value proposition and how we can help you get the most amount of money in the least amount of time with the least amount of hassle. So in the meanwhile, before we run over, what else did I miss? I mean, you hit on um, our opportunities career-wise. Um, are, we, are we looking for anything else right now? How can we um, cast that message outbound? I think we hit it all. I need someone to win this. 
please. Yeah. So if you haven't entered for our summer season giveaway, please, please, please give us a call. Shoot us a text. Two five two. Are you two five two six seven two two zero nine zero? Let the person know who answers the phone that you want to enter into our summer siesta um, giveaway, or shoot the text "summer siesta giveaway" to us, and we'll send y'all the info. Let's get you in. I want to give this to someone. We're gonna, oh, we're going to announce this tomorrow. Oh yeah, Facebook. announcement for anyone that made it to the long yeah. drawn part of after I was done rambling. Tell them that, <laughs> sister. Yes, they're so going to be um, announcing the winner tomorrow about the 1130 hour right on our Facebook page. I ordered something special from Amazon just for this. Fascinating. I'm not telling you. Yeah, well, yeah. you better not. I'll watch the bank account and see what happens. <laughs> awesome, y'all. Well, until yeah. then, I will miss you next week. I am going to be in the historic district with some great family friends of mine, showing them a home that likely fits all of their needs. Um, and there goes the phone again. So I'm out. Have a great week. Bye, Thanks for all your support. Bye.